2. We had around 60 students who participated for cohort 2 and out of those 20 teams, we have some teams who have come upon with really great prototypes and worked 24-7 during the internship and during hackathon to come up and implement the prototypes for real life problems. Hi, I'm Amlan from Team Merlin and these are my teammates Ashish and Anushka. Technology has become such an integral part of our life that it is difficult to spend even a few moments without it. While we have been able to use it flawlessly, the visually impaired find it very difficult to get the most out of it. We aim to solve this problem with our product by providing a seamless, easy to use method of typing. One has to just move their fingers to form a gesture. The, the model will record the movement and through machine learning algorithms, it can type the correct character, word or even a complete sentence. We train the model with alphabets, numbers, words and sentences and associate them with particular gestures. Then we analyze the samples that we have recorded and normalize the data. When the module records a movement, it is matched against that normalized data and the system predicts the correct character, words or sentence to be typed. Hi, I am Siddharth from Team Skyper and my teammates are Subham, Abhishek and Partha. The problem we are going to address is nowadays farmers are facing a lot of problems in spraying pesticides due to the lack of manpower. We have developed a drone which could, which could help the farmer to irrigate their farm land automatically. Drones are targeted as useful flying fast elements because they can clearly improve the precision with the fertilizers, pesticides and fungicides. This is due to the ability of the spray specific volume and replace location to their field. The insecticide and pesticides which is placed in the location can be remotely accessed to the multimeter and transmitter. Camera is used to capture the, the remote sense area which can detect the drop field by the detection of the insect. Thereby we can spray the insecticide to it. Hello, I am Sriti Kumari and I am from the team Arms. And I have made a 3D printed prosthetic hand. We have seen that hand amputations uh, generally in people can cause a lot of problems to carry the day to day life activities. And there are 30 million people globally with uh, hand amputations generally beginning from the lower limbs. So the people who have uh, only an upper limb can fix this 3D printed uh, prosthetic arm on, the, on their lower limbs and can actually make them function the electron. Hi, I'm Sahil from Team Raiders. One of the biggest challenges that our soldiers face faces is risk that their life. With this, they need to be 24-7 with weapon in every condition. Here, we tried to find a solution to this problem by building this project an unmanned automatic gun. Reduces the manpower and using it in a real life world will be safer for our soldier. This gun can be operated by a person by sitting in a remote area which is, which is a safer place. We want some engineering system in our defense. Having our own technology is more cost efficient. Thank you. Hello, I'm Shriyash from Team Dronex. Um, and, and we have uh, delivery of lightweight medical supplies and organs to uh, ground transportation is, pro is um, problematic. We are planning to use drones to solve this. This reduces the manpower um, significantly and it also automates the entire process of delivering the lightweight supplies and organs. Delivering organs in cases of uh, emer in, ca in case of emergencies needs to be done quickly and traffic becomes a problem in, in ground transportation. So using drones at high altitudes helps it to reach uh, quickly. It reduces the overall costs uh, a lot for the hospitals. We are very happy to see Cisco incubator and giving our students enough opportunity to solve the local problem by developing different innovative prototype. On the process, the students become more responsible and are adopting more scientific methods to solve their problems. Therefore, we are thankful to Cisco ask them and their partner for giving us students a wonderful platform to be user and to